And so if the Braves win tonight, folks, it will be the team's first championship in 26 years. The last time the Braves actually won the World Series, they beat Cleveland. That was back in 1995. And Jeff talked about this as this is when Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin were pitching at the time. And the Braves stadium was still in Fulton County. And Walter Banks was still ushering fans into their seats. Our very own Joe Ripley caught up with Walter Banks tonight. So, Joe, how's he feeling about uh, the excitement tonight? You know, Ron, Walter Banks, longtime Braves usher, is actually working tonight, not just watching the game. He is working Braves home games just as he has over the last 56 years from Atlanta Fulton County Stadium to Turner Field and now here at Truist Park. And he has big and high hopes for this generation of Braves as well. He calls his service a thank you to fans over the years. Walter Banks is now 82 years old, and he calls working at these games a tradition that never gets old. You can see it in a smile when he interacts with the fans, and he says this Braves team has a certain enthusiasm past teams had when they made deep postseason runs. He could tell from spring training this Braves team had something special brewing. He says winning the World Series would make the area proud and bring folks around Atlanta, the state of Georgia, and Braves country together. You're talking about an explosion. You'll see something you've never seen before. It'll be so together, so organized, so appreciative. So it will bring people to, uh, not across uh, county line, but state line. You know, it was a real treat, Ron, just to be able to meet and greet. Uh, Walter Banks here. He is a walking encyclopedia full of Atlanta Braves tidbits and facts from over the decades he served the team here as an usher from uh, covering uh, Murphy and Matthews, Maddox, all the way to this year's team. He's hoping to add World Series champions to his memory bank tonight. Yeah, 